Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, scholars and dignitaries, welcome to another episode. Welcome to my world. Hello, friends. So life is like a ball game. Some wins, some losses, and yes, some ties. And the overall game strategy is to come out with a batting average above 500. To me, that would be a good career goal, especially given all the variables and curveballs in life. Anyway, in many of my videos, I speak of the path to success, how to improve the quality of your life, and how to improve the satisfaction in life. But I thought I'd take a slightly different tack this time. This time, instead of the do's, I want to try to define the don'ts, the four absolutes that I strongly caution against, as they can cause some blockages to your goals, or even cause some outright catastrophes and disasters. So these, then, are four findings that even the experts say to avoid, because they can cause a wide variety of damages. And actually, these were said by others who themselves fell into certain traps of life, and who regretted their decisions even many years later. So, here are the top four mistakes in life. First, not doing enough for other people. Yes, I know people, and there are a lot of them, who are people pleasers. They tend to do everything for everyone and often neglect their own needs in the process. But on death's door, when a person looks back on their lives in reflection, they really don't regret this. They look back and have a sense of joy and accomplishment. Why? Because they helped others in their journey. Maybe they were supports or advisors or other types of helpers, but they look back and see a sense of satisfaction and fulfillment, and that's part of a legacy to be proud of. You know, there was a man who had a near-death experience. Actually, he did die. He was clinically dead for about 10 minutes before they were able to resuscitate him, and he met Jesus in heaven, and Jesus had one question for him, only one question. He asked, what did you do with your life? And the implication, the answer Jesus was looking for, was for this man to say, I helped others. I helped people along the way of my own journey. And that, according to this man, was a great key in reaching the final goal of eternal life in paradise, helping others. A second common mistake that people often make is not spending enough time with your family. I can't stress this enough. Family is blood. Family is your homestead. Family is your heartland. Family is your go-to. Yes, you need friends, and yes, you need a social life, but please don't let your career and outside obligations consume so much of your time that you end up neglecting your family. Family is fundamental. Family is home base. Your anchor in a crazy and unpredictable world, and your family name itself is a gift that should be prized and treasured. When you're older, you think about these things, and yes, they can weigh on you a lot. Did you spend time with your parents? Did you help them out? Were you there if your brothers and sisters needed a hand, or your grandparents, or even an elderly aunt or uncle? I've seen a lot of people treat their families as if they were disposable, and that's a horrible mistake for everyone. Remember the fifth commandment of God. Honor thy mother and thy father, and extend that to your entire family. A third mistake that I've seen a lot of people make actually concerns basic finances. A lot of people don't have the correct perception of money and the proper role it has for family stability. And within this area, there are three common mistakes people make. First, they don't understand the difference between wants and needs, and they spend their money foolishly on impulsive items and things that, quite simply, they can do without. Consumerism has hit a pitch, and more often than not, young adults have fallen prey to easy credit, the buy now, pay later philosophy. What they need to realize is that it is not all disposable income. The vast majority of monies are reserved for bills and legitimate expenses, and the rest should be placed in a reserve, commonly called a savings account, for future needs. Now, I'm not saying to automatically turn into a miser, but what I am saying is that people today simply waste money and often on foolish things. Second, people feel that their income is guaranteed for life, and so they know that there's another check coming in next week, so they think that they have more flexibility than they really do. The way to combat this is by writing down a monthly budget and by reviewing it every week or two, making the necessary adjustments along the way. Trust me, put your budget down in writing, and even then, 
Don't overcommit yourself simply because jobs and salaries are not guaranteed. Your best strategy for controlling your expenses is to list them and review them every single week. You'll know where you stand, what you have to do, and if there is a problem with money, you'll be able to catch it in time before it balloons into a real fiscal crisis. So again, monitor your finances very carefully and consistently. And third, always put something aside for your retirement. Retirement sneaks up on you very fast, and according to the Federal Reserve Bank, only about 60% of people have any retirement account at all, and that's not to say that it's fully funded at a rate that can support them in their retirement and a comfortable life. Listen, for some of us, it's easy to live while the money is coming in, but when it stops, that's an entirely different story. Plan for the future, plan for your retirement, and if you can afford it, put every dollar in and watch it grow. And fourth, one of the biggest mistakes I've seen people do is get into drinking, drugging, gambling, and even sexual addiction. Yes, I understand everyone needs R&R, rest and relaxation, and everyone needs outlets and a way to socialize, a way to make friends and enjoy camaraderie. But these things are not simple vices, but harbor on the edge of addiction and the level of morbidity, mortality, family dysfunction, and social chaos they result in can never be overstated. It's not an exaggeration to say that perhaps 15% of the population are addicted to either a substance or an addictive behavior. And usually it starts innocently enough. Usually it starts even among friends. But before you know it, it explodes out of control. You know, Joseph Califano, former Secretary for Health, Education, and Welfare, once said that the number one cause of morbidity and mortality in the United States isn't heart disease, it isn't cancer, it isn't diabetes, it's drinking, smoking, and drugging. These cause more death and destruction than the next three greatest diseases together. Avoid these like the plague they are. So yes, there are other mistakes that people make that affect their lives, even years into the future. But from what I've seen, and from what others have told me, these four are major mistakes that are best to be consciously avoided. Hey, be safe, be well, and may God bless.